Hey friends, it's Natalia. Welcome back to She Makes 31. In today's video, I am doing a spooky Halloween clean and decorate with me. I decorated my boys' playroom and our entryway. All right, here's the beginning of the mess <laughs> down here in the hallway leading to the playroom. I don't think I've showed you guys this room since we moved in, but here it is. <laughs> in all of its glory <laughs> and we yes we have a Star Wars theme going on because we are all fans here in the house but uh, yeah I got quite a bit of picking up to do here don't you guys just love Legos aren't they so fun to clean up <laughs> look at that yay all right time to get to work I want to thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Cleaning and decorating videos are some of my favorites to film for my channel. I had so much fun decorating for Halloween in our boys playroom and also in our foyer. I like being able to keep my fall decor up in my main living areas so I went ahead and focused the Halloween to where the kids mainly gather. My six-year-old son, Noah, loves playing with Legos. He got this little firehouse um, set for his birthday and he built it once already and dismantled it and is trying to do it all over again. So of course, I have to clean all this up. <laughs> There's pieces everywhere and you guys know it is not fun to step on these. If you're new to my channel, then I want to say welcome. Thanks for stopping by. I'm Natalia and I am a wife and a mom to three boys. We live in South Florida and I love making videos like this about all things home and family. Decorating is one of my favorite things to do for all the seasons. So make sure that you hit that subscribe button before you go so that you get notified whenever I post new videos. One of the first things I worked on was getting this futon all cleared up and here's these little crochet minions that my older sister made for my baby shower when I had Noah. I love them. I have three of them set together <laughs> because they remind me of my boys, little minions. Anyway, these are some pillowcases. They're DIY pillowcases that I made out of bar towels from the Target Bullseye section. I actually did a tutorial on these a couple years ago. They are no sew and you could do this with a lot of the um, dish towels that they sell in the Target Bullseye section. So they're very easy to put together and these are 18 by 18 pillow inserts. This little accent pillow is one that I got this year at the Target Bullseye section. So many good finds every year there on all of their seasonal decor. This table and these chairs are some that my husband and I made and I did share the process. I will link it here, um, but they're holding up great. I just love this table. It's such a good size and it really is a lot less expensive than the dupe which is the pottery barn version so i'm gonna put this up this is actually my father-in-law made this it's actually a puzzle and 
He made this for the boys and they had it framed, which I thought was really cool. And there's three others that he um, also made like in a different size. But I thought I'd put this over the TV and see how it looks. You guys, see these little things? They keep on coming down. I can't even hang it. It's driving me nuts. <laughs> so guys, I feel like I'm driving myself a little crazy because now that this is up here, I feel like I should have probably put these, these are the other ones I was talking about, up here, and then put this one maybe where the clock is a little lower and then put the clock on like this blank wall. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but you'll see it at the end. <laughs> okay, so this is the most exciting part <laughs> for me was to decorate above this shelf. These are Ikea Calyx shelves that we use. They're great for storing all of the toys. Um, that we have but yeah I love being able to de decorate this a lot of the decor that I got here uh, was from the Target bullseye section I go every single year and I kind of just build my collection or change it up a bit depending on you know what I want to go with each year I'm not like a super huge Halloween fan, but I love to decorate this for the kids. I do spooky decor. I don't do anything, you know, scary or gory or anything like that. I just keep it cute and just sweet for the boys. For this top shelf here, I set up a tear tray. I love decorating tear trays for the holidays and just making them super cute. Um, so I got a lot of this stuff, like I've mentioned, either at Walmart or at the Target Bullseye section. They have great little finds for tear trays. If you are on a budget, I would definitely recommend these candles that I got at Aldi. They're three wick candles and they're only $3.99 and they usually have them for all the holidays. 
Um, they actually had some for Halloween, but I liked the scent of this one that you see here. It has a little truck on it with some pumpkins. It smells really good and it is a lot less expensive than your Bath and Body Works candles. So it's a great alternative. A new find for me this year was this candy gumball machine. I got this for $3 at the Target Bullseye section. These are really popular this year. People go all out with like the creativity on what you can do to decorate inside of them. I wanted to fill it up with candy eyeballs. Um, I didn't have enough to fill up the whole thing so I did put like a towel in um, underneath on the bottom part but you can fill it up with candy and the boys have been begging me to eat some of this candy and I told them they had to wait until after this video so <laughs> they are going to be eating that real soon. Next I was decorating above my curio cabinet. I honestly had some random stuff up there, an old lamp and then my belly cast from when I was pregnant. Um, I have to kind of organize that better and display it better for right now. I'm just covering it up with some of this creepy cloth fabric. I thought it was kind of a cool way to disguise it a bit and still look cool for the holiday. I won't be decorating inside the curio cabinet because it's actually become a bookshelf and a Star Wars decor um, collection. All right, friends. So last I left you, it was Friday um, and I stopped right before dinner. It was actually Ronnie's birthday. So we had, you know, special dinner and some ice cream cake. So we celebrated his birthday. Um, and then today is Sunday. On Saturday, I woke up with pink eye. I know this is like a Halloween decorating video, but I did not want to scare you guys that much with my goopy green eyes. Ew. Um, I, I don't know. I think it's all part of me still being sick. Um, I got pink eye in the beginning, so I'm using the same drops, the uh, antibiotic drops. I'm using those again, and my eyes are better today. They're not 100%. But, um, yeah, I don't know what's going on. I'm going to have to go back to the doctor and see why I'm still sick a month later. But, anywho, I have to finish decorating in here and cleaning because, you know, after a day, it's already messy again. <laughs> um, and then I have to decorate the kitchen. So, I'm going to be doing that and showing you the process. I wanted to show you guys this piece that I got. Um, Ronnie bought it yesterday at Target. It's $15, but it's a motion activated Victorian telephone. And I think it's perfect for this spot. I like wanted something for this little table and I felt like this was perfect. Hold on, let me turn it off for you guys. <clears throat> so. Collect all from the grave. Collect all from the grave. <laughs> Isn't it cute? And it's actually like, it works. Like, in, look. I love this thing. It's so cute. Collect all from the boys have been like running away from it. It's hilarious. It's perfect for here. Yay! <laughs> I got this little vase. Uh, Ronnie actually got it yesterday at Walmart. And I just put some of my Halloween florals in here. I'm just going to stick this right over here. I'll take the tags off. Don't worry. Maybe I'll have the cord going this way. There we go. Okay. And then I'll probably just add, needs a little bit of orange, I feel like. Lots of black going on. I don't know. I mean, this is, oh, here goes my dryer. Like that. Let's see. Mm. 
Here we go. Okay, that looks cute. I think it's a go. All right, so I'm using these tiny little command hooks um, so that I can hang this freaky fabric on like the tops there. So let's get to it. So I wasn't happy with the setup I had going on here, so I had Ronnie go to Target yesterday and get this blanket. It's so soft. It's actually pretty cold in this room, so I know that they will all get to use the blanket and be happy about that. And I feel like it'll add a nice pop of orange, because there's lots of black going on here. So I think this will, will work well. I'm just about done here in the playroom. I just gotta pick up the last few things and clean up all of the mess that I made when I was decorating. All right, to finish up with this room, I am giving it a good vacuum. Caleb decided that he was gonna hog the camera all to himself. <laughs> he was so cute. He just kept on looking at himself on the screen and just going all over the place. All right, guys, the next area I'm going to be decorating is here by our foyer. This is an Ikea shoe cabinet. It currently has some fall decor, but I'm gonna give it a little Halloween touch so that when our trick-or-treaters come and knock on our door, they'll get to see this. So I'm setting the scene here with a little backdrop with this black creepy cloth and I got this new sign at Kirkland's. I thought it was so cute. I was going to put bats on the wall here but when I saw this sign it was the perfect size and it already had the bats in there. Another great find this year were these little Halloween lights that I got at Walmart. They are so inexpensive compared to other places and I love these. They have a timer and they come in two colors. You could do like the multiple colors and the cool white colors and you can alternate. They have six settings and they are pretty long in length. I just love these things. I use the same type of greenery here that I used in the playroom to kind of tie in both of the looks. Mm -hmm. 
I added these two buffalo check pumpkins on top of the pillars. I thought they would be great because of the black and white that I have going on. And then I added these Halloween picks that I got at Walmart to add pops of color. Okay, my friends, here is the Halloween decor reveal. This is the playroom in the daytime, and I will also show you what it looks like at night. This is what it looks like at night and it's so much fun to be in here. We have LED strip lights all around the perimeter of the room and behind the TV. We can change the color of them and they really add to the whole look. I think it's really awesome and we can just sit back here and watch a spooky movie together as a family. Alright, so here's how I set up all of the Star Wars frames. I totally love this so much better than what I originally had. I think the three frames above the TV are perfect. Alright, so here is our entryway, our foyer. I absolutely love the way that the decor came out on top of this cabinet. It'll be so much fun on Halloween night to open the door and have all of this showing for all the kids. I know my boys absolutely loved it. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was so much fun to make. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.